Hey guys, welcome back to Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. How are you all? I just want to say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, even if you are not uh, a subscriber and you're watching this, I appreciate you as well. Um, so today's video is about the three in glasses cow. Um, myself, Sam from Mampha's Makes and um, Rebecca from Suricata Crafts. Um, we are fondly known as the Three in Glasses because obviously we all wear glasses. Um, but not only that, we uh, started a really good friendship and that's just um, what we called ourselves because we have like a messenger. That's just the three of us. So. I came up with a name and then when we went to do this cowl we pulled it from there so we got the three in glasses so a little backstory um, we are doing a crochet along we are making a shawl um, we each picked an easy pattern and then you guys decided what pattern you wanted to make and we pick uh, you guys picked the Bella Vita shawl um, from Wilma Westenberg or well made and um, we have been doing sections of it uh, we did rows 1 through 25 26 through 51 no, 26 through 50, I'm sorry. 26 through 50. And 51 through 75 is what we're on this time. And the next time will be the end result, which is the border. And that'll be, we are doing a live on Sam's channel um, next Saturday so you'll be seeing this Wednesday so not this Wednesday or this not this I'm sorry not this Saturday but the Saturday after which is the 29th of July um, is when we're gonna do that live the Wednesday after that Saturday we will be doing a video um, showing the end result for those who don't come or can't come to the live so do you want to see it now it's supposed to be rows 50 through 75 or 51 through 75 Sorry, 51 through 75 I had to cut out a few rows because I had to change the hook size um, because I did not meet gauge I think she used like a three and a half and I had to use a four and a half so I used my four and a half clover a more which are amazing I love my clovers um but that actually made it to where I was running out of yarn I got to almost the end I think I was on row eight and there's like 10 rows before the border and I had to frog back to, so I've only done six of the 10 last rows in order to do the border. Um, so a little disappointed, but what can you do, right? And I do not have any more of this yarn. And even if I did, I don't really want to cut into another cake just to do a couple more rows. It's fine. So, you ready to see it, guys? Okay. So, like I said, I'm using my clover more. Um, there is some hair and <laughs> I do have cats, so there's a little bit of cat hair in it. Um, hold on a second. Let me... There we go. The string was caught on my stitch markers. Where are you going? Okay. There we go. 
I'm using a Cotton King's uh, Twirls. No, just Cotton King's. I'm sorry. Cotton King's Deluxe. Like the rainbow one, but just this one. And this one. So much hair. I'm going to be gifting this, so I will wash it before I gift it. But this is my Bella Vita. There you go. There is lavender at the bottom. Isn't she pretty? So. Decent size. Can. Wrap yourself in it. You can see all the stitches. And there you go. Turn to the back a little bit so you can see the puffs and the windows. All that fun stuff. So this is my Bella Vita. And then I got a cute little stitch marker. I got this last Christmas in a um, advent box. It was a bunch of little charms, but I'm using them as stitch markers. So, and then I have a different stitch marker that was marking my place. And that's this one here. This one I was gifted. So like I said, I had done a couple more rows than this, but I wouldn't have any yarn left to do the border if I had completed these rows. So I just, just did this amount and then this is row 75 and then the border is going to be on it. This is how much I have left for the border. It should make it. <laughs> Here's for helping. Because if not I'm going to have to frog a few more rows. So that is what I have left. It's lavender and blue and then it will switch to lavender. Just plain lavender here in a little bit. If you can see it right there just a plain lavender there the camera's not doing it any justice so yes this is my Bella Vita almost done and after this I'll probably work on it a little bit see if I can get the border done and then I will have it ready um, by the live. And I'm so excited. You can even do this. There you go. So pretty. It is a nice pattern. Um, I'm not. This is just my opinion. Um, the pattern's gorgeous. Love the way it's worked up. I like that it's got the width more than the length. Those are my kind of shawls. Like I said, not that this is going to be mine, but um, yeah. But just the way the pattern is written. Um, some people like the way the pattern is written, which is awesome. Um, it's just it was hard for me to try and keep track at some points having to go back and forth, back and forth, 
you know, you're on row 35 and it tells you go back up to row 5. So it's like, then you have to go back up and it's an up and down, up and down, you know, so it's a little, it's a little hard, but, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful shawl. I'm not, not mad about it. Just my opinion that it could have been streamlined a little bit better, but it is a free pattern, so, you know, hey, to each their own. We all write patterns differently. We all read patterns differently. We all like different patterns. Um, so, you know, um, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, we, we all do it differently, but that's my opinion. I didn't like to have to jump up and down. So, wait, but that's me. And that is my Bella Vita. So like I said, if you guys can make it, I would really appreciate it, um, to the live. And if not, like I said, we are going to post a video about it. And if you want to come to the live, have some fun, and then also watch the video, we're cool with that too. <laughs> um, Sam and Rebecca's videos will be out at the same time. Please go check them out as well. Share the love. Um, to them as well um, yeah just share the love that's what this community is all about sharing the love you know um, like I say you never really know what somebody's going through so you know be kind be kind to people anyways that's me for now uh, you'll probably see me in the same outfit um, as I am batch recording on a day off so that I can get you some content. Some days off I can't batch record because I am busy doing other things, but I try. <laughs> try as much as I can, right? Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Please don't forget one small act of kindness. You never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple smile or a simple hello, that may just be what they need for today. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.